Alright, I've got my engine here. Now what I'm going to do is extend this engine. This is 2.75 inches. If you try to wrap it though, let me just show you here, it's really hard to do because you can't attach anything to the ends. Your ends here just hang off. You have to have a mandrel that you're wrapping that's longer than your target length by at least the distance of your strip here. I'm going to use this piece here. This should be enough. I don't want this to be more than two, uh, two layers thick, so I'm going to be real careful. I'm going to wrap this really, really tight. Is two pieces thicker than the tube will ensure that I can get the tube or get the motor inside my uh, motor mount when it's finished. I'll just trim off my mandrel here and give it one final squeeze. Hold my pin steady. This will be like the zone. Here's my mandrel. My pitch was 1.32. So I'm going to go from here. 1.32. Now one thing we want to do is start by lining it up like this. Make sure that you have a little bit of overhang on the excess side of your mark. Wrap it on around so that the strip lines up between there and your pitch mark and you'll have a perfect butt joint here. Just like so. Now, carefully hold this. We're going to use tape here. This is why we have to have a mandrel that sticks out beyond our tube, or beyond our motor in this case, so we can anchor one end of the tape. We'll go ahead and wrap this on around, and we'll tape this end. Pull it real tight. Okay, and that's how you get one started. Luckily, it's all uh, downhill from there. And one thing I always do is I alternate my directions so that if one one of the strips starts to peel it won't cause a you know chain reaction and peel them all off make sure I can still see my reference line in there make sure that this corner is beneath that otherwise you're gonna fall short if I put it here this little section right here won't be covered so make sure that is below there you just take it get it wrapped can see it shifted on me a little bit. Slide it back down so that that corner is below my zero, my zero mark. Okay, now here we'll do something a little bit different. We'll start with the piece of tape on this one, and we're going to start the glue. We're going to apply glue directly to the piece that's already in place, and we're slowly just going to work our way around. Hold that down while that dries. And so now I've got nice joints here, no bumps. And now I'm going to take my next layer and go around this direction. So now I'm really quickly adding layers on top of layers to build this up to about 9 to 10 layers thick. And now that that's finishing up here, I'm going to put my strip around here to mark a circumferential line so I know where the end of my motor is going to be. And I'll just trim it off right at that line I just marked. 
and there we go it's all done I'll just push the motor out here you can see how that works real nice I'm gonna go ahead and take the mandrel out as well because I wouldn't be able to get the motor back in otherwise and plus we don't want this mandrel in there this will give me a little bit more space to put the motor in we got to have a way to keep the motor in the mount so I'm bending a paper clip here into the shape of a motor mount uh, like you would see on a standard Estes rocket just a couple quick bends here with my pliers check the length and we'll be done and I'll bend a little hook shape here on the end so it's easy to get back out okay now we'll check the link one last time we're gonna go ahead now and install it onto the motor mount we just made measure length so it sticks out about a quarter inch measure the top of the motor where it's gonna be and we'll poke a little hole for the motor mount to stick through then we'll enlarge the hole stick the clip in and then we'll secure it in place with just a few pieces of tape you see that goes on there real nicely we don't tape it at the end so that it can flex a little bit. Test fit our motor, move the clip out of the way, snaps in, and you can see that it locks perfectly. That isn't going to go anywhere. I've cut some short pieces here to center this motor mount inside the body tube. We're going to go ahead and glue them on. I've drawn some straight lines down the sides to make sure that these are aligned properly so my motor is in line with the body tube. We'll get them all glued on here and let them dry for a bit. There, you can see that looks pretty good. I've got them at the 120 and 60 degree mark. We'll slide it in here for a test fit. It goes in nice and easy. All right, I like the way that looks. It's centered perfectly, now I'll put the fin on. Just a little bit of glue here, we'll stick it in. We'll make sure that it's aligned perfectly. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.